Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going through my VCT Americas power rankings and predictions for the playoffs. I'm going to go through all six teams in the playoffs as well as my pickums. I think we're going to go through the pickums first and then we'll do the power rankings. Not going to do like the whole uh, like Google slide thing that I had before just because it's only six teams and I had to move everybody out and back in and just do a bunch of stuff that I don't really feel like doing when I can just kind of write it on the screen. So um, yeah. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I've been working hard on my um, off-season rebuild series. I think some of those might be coming out soon, like between end of playoffs and champs, just because, like, yeah, we won't get a lot of roster rumors, but also the Ascension stuff ends in, like, September, and I don't want to do it, like, a month after champs ends. I feel like that's a little bit, like, on the weird end. Like, I, w I would want to see what happens at the end of Ascension, but maybe we can go back through and maybe re-rebuild the teams and do stuff like that after. But yeah, look out for those videos. Look out for content leading up to champs. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so as I said, we'll start with the pickums here. And this crew Cloud9 matchup is very, very close to me. I think there are two very, very eh teams right now, especially in America's. I think these teams could compete in like EMEA or Pacific, but not like at super high level. I don't think Crew has been very good this stage. I don't I didn't think they were going to be. Um and Cloud9 I think was a little bit better than I expected at least this stage, but um still also has not looked good in a lot of their games and has been, made a lot of comebacks. Um so when you put them up against better teams, maybe you can see a little or see those issues a little bit more i think is how i want to say that uh that being said crew their calling system is weird but it works kind of a little bit i mean to be fair their three losses were nrg playing really well sen and g2 so you can maybe say oh they're playing against a lot of very good teams and they just smashed c9 uh, maybe not smashed maybe that's a little too harsh um but honestly, Cloud9, I don't think they were really trying in that game. That game did not matter whatsoever. Uh, maybe maybe C9 could have made it into like the first round buy slot, but I don't think that's true. So I don't know. I just think C9 should win this game, especially because it's a rematch. Like even if they were trying, I still would favor them in this game, honestly, just because of that rematch narrative and kind of how teams generally, after they lose to a team, are are better at winning the next game after instead of the teams that are the okay. If you lose a game, you'll want to win more, and when you rematch that team is how I want to say that. Okay. Now moving on to Sentinels, a hundred thieves. Um, I think overall, I think it's pretty obvious that Sen has had the better split than hundred thieves. They went three and one. Hundred thieves went. Let me can be lr like what two and three yeah uh again last game didn't really matter that much for 100 thieves um they looked really really good on ascent i think if they can get that map through that should be a free win against sentinels honestly um then we'll probably pick bind like actually they might not pick bind i don't know uh abyss is in the pool as well I think this should be a good map pool for 100 Thieves, but I do think Sentinels is the better team. So you got to really balance the matchup with that. Also, Sentinels has historically destroyed 100 Thieves. Um, like if you go through, let's see, like historical matchups. Yeah, Sen has literally won all but three matchups where 100 Thieves won twice during First Strike, and then the other one was during NALCQ in 2022. So... I'm going to pick the historic matchup, even though it's obviously different rosters and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pick Sen there just because I think they're the better team and I'd pick the better team to get through most of the time. Then I'm going to pick Lev over C9. C9 could make this game muddy against Lev again. Lev kind of play worse in these like big game scenarios or like big tournaments, I guess, like playoffs. I don't think they look that great, even though they got third place in America's last split. And then now, like, going into Shanghai, I thought they were really bad. I mean, that's not a hot take or anything. Um, so 
I think they just need to prove it, but I don't think they're losing to C9. I think C9 should be kind of going out. I think they're clearly the worst team here, and I hate that they're playing against crew. I think you can probably guess what my power rankings are, just based on the way I'm talking, but we'll go through it after still. Then G2 Sen. G2 did play really well. Oh, okay. I did not mean to click that there. Uh, and then left. G2 did play pretty well against Sen in that last game of the regular season. I also don't think either team was really trying too hard as well. Um, yeah, like the winner gets to go here, and I think if Sen won, they auto qualled the champs. Uh, but they're already auto qualled. I think they should be okay. And yeah, I don't know. Sen seems like a team that could have worked on their abyss. They also, like, what maps are they even bad on? Icebox. And I don't think their bind is the greatest. I think their Lotus can be eh. But with a lot of their comps that they're running, I think they can run two different comps on pretty much any map, which is also a big reason why I picked them against 100 Thieves here. Which, I mean, I think 100 Thieves is a very good team in terms of prep. But when you take that away with running possibly multiple comps, I think you run into some issues there. Also, the rematch narrative against G2, so I'm going to pick Sen here, actually. Um, in my original pickums, I did go for uh, G2 in this, like when I just looked at the bracket. Um, but I think in the moment, I convinced myself with Sentinels. Then G2, C9, I'm going to pick G2 again to qualify for uh, champions officially. This would also put 100 Thieves through, I believe, um, because 100 Thieves would have more champions points than C9 or Crew or anybody else. So good thing uh, that they have their three best or their four best teams going to champions. I think 100 Thieves is, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're the four best teams going into champs. We'll just say that. Then Sen Lev, I'm going to pick Sen. I just think they're very, very, very good. Um, Sentinels are, I mean, Lev are also very good, but they just need to prove it again, I think. They're kind of the points that I made earlier. Same reason I'm going to pick G2 here. It's kind of the same script as... Uh, I'm going to pick G2 here. I think Sen just diff in playoffs, I think. We'll go with that. Um, so yeah, kind of the same narrative as... Or like the same script, honestly, as what 100 Thieves did uh, for Split 1. So okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah. We, I, I'll, I guess I'll just bring up the epic then, where we'll just go through the power ranking. So one, hmm, I think I'd go send two, G two. That's pretty obvious. Three, I'd go hundred thieves. Honestly, four. Lev, 5, C9, then 6, Peru. Alright, very, very good handwriting. I can't write with a mouse or with my hand. So, um, yeah, these are my power rankings. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.